Hello, everybody. Thanks for waiting. Oh, Brian has come through again with the goods. <laughs> um, who would like to go first? Don't all jump at once. Sophie, thank you very much. Hey. I'll answer that at the end of the year, I guess. Um, we all know the league's improving. Today's results and performances across the league suggest that, which is what we all crave and want. So to win, knowing we haven't really had a lot of training time together as a team, as a whole, we had a lot of players way at international break or World Cup. And I'm just looking forward to a full week of training this week, to be honest, with the whole squad because I think the game reflected uh, almost you know, some good moments, really bad moments, some mediocre moments, etc. And I think that's to be expected for the first game of the season. And just a word on, on the official hmm. and Yeah, I mean, she's been in with us. She's one player who's been with us the whole of pre-season and I think it's really helped her because she's been able to build some relationships um, and work on parts of her game in the last six weeks that if she'd have been at the World Cup, I think she would have been much further behind because we've been able to do a lot of individual work with her and get her up to the speed of the way our team plays. I still think there's other steps for her to take if we want her to be able to her link her up play, her hold up play is really, really good. But sometimes I want a second movement from her and I think that physically she still has to develop to be able to do that. But she's smart, really smart and I thought she grew in the game and uh, even that when she tired she made good decisions and really, really not surprised to see her get a, get a, get a goal today. Thanks. Thank you Sophie. Catherine? Hmm. Do you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know what I feel. To be honest, I just know it was really hard for me today, and I love the players because they understand our environment and they've taken care of me in a really difficult time. And uh, I know for my family today that would have been really tough. Um, but if I'm really honest, I just wanted to get through it. I said to the fourth official, I bet you're grateful that went in because the whole stadium could see it cross the line. But we know there's human error and VAR is not foolproof, but having goal line technology at a stadium that already has it seems madness but at the same time if we go away to the city stadium next week and they don't have it we've got to have some consistency with it i just i don't really understand why we don't have var light across the league because we've implemented it at king's meadow during pre-season i don't think there should be any excuses like we've got the technology i don't i don't really understand why we're not using it to be honest Decent attendance as well, but it wasn't quite as big as it was last year. Um, did you have any thoughts on why that might be? If it's like the fire ticket costs or the fact that you know it's a late kickoff? I don't know. I'm, I I think that um, getting I don't even know what the attendance was. It felt a lot. Um, I think I've said it before. Paying twelve pound to watch an elite end game is, you know, we sh we should be. Um, accepting that you can't have the best of both worlds. You can't ask to see the best players in the world play in this league and play at a larger stadium and it be free. <laughs> you know, we have to start making progress and I think £12 is reasonable. Um, so I don't think it's about higher ticket cost. It, regardless, uh, I respect that a cost of living crisis might make that challenging and I don't know if there were packages and things like that that's not my area but I think 
we want to play here more so we have to be able to pay the bills to be able to turn the light on because it cost about 300 grand to open this stadium and I don't think people always realise that that to pay that bill we have to bring in enough to be able to do it so it's a bit of a I think it will be a learning curve across the league to be able to get that right probably in the next 12 months because you can put 53,000 in but they need to sell four times the number of tickets we do in order to cover the same end you know what I mean so I don't know which strategy is the right one is it just volume versus those that are paying for it maybe a slightly higher price but are likely to return because they're more serious about it I don't know but I know we're trying as a league all try to figure that part out Can I just ask about Monty obviously she scored today and played fantastically as well we know what you think of her and how good she is she's obviously outstanding in the World Cup but sometimes you've before you've spoken openly about other parts of her game which you think she can improve do, do you make a conscious point of being particularly demanding of that player because of her potential and quite how good you feel that she can be oh. oh I think we should be talking about Mia Fischel today and Eve Charles and their amazing performances because it's a team game and it's not about one player one individual and uh, I demand the most from every one of the players and they'll always say to me, oh, you're being hard on me or this might feel harsh. Everybody's going to feel that. I don't feel that. Um, I just feel sometimes um, I come into these situations there's only ever questions on one or two players instead of maybe the attention should be on the players that played really, really well today. And like I said, Neve Charles, like what a fabulous performance there was from her. I... I'd like to see her get more in an England show, I really would, as I thought she was brilliant and me official for a debut as a 22 year old. Absolutely superb. Charlotte? Yeah, been in training, she'll be available next weekend. She'll be available. Yep. And Fran didn't get a start today. Yeah, Franz, you know, had a slight muscle injury during the international break. You know, she has to keep building her fitness. Um, we've got a great squad, but we need to keep Fran on the pitch for the whole year. And I didn't, I don't, I don't have to feel the pressure of having to play Fran without her building. Which I, which what I think is, I think she needs a small, solid training base. Yeah, Charlotte, please. Yeah, no, listen, I love it because it brings a different um, dynamic in the dressing room. To be fair, I think we've always had a uh, very... Um, I put it. We've got players coming from all over the world in our dressing room, but I think adding adding a little more diversity is important for many many reasons. One, the dynamic. Two, because you have to see it to be it. And I feel I feel really strongly and passionately about this. And I think all those young girls going away seeing Miss Mia Official and Lauren James uh, score today is only going to help. Which Sometimes I always feel like uh, the football communities that don't get the same things. I think women's football in some places in the world could be quite a middle-class sport, including here. So I think it's great for everybody to to see that, but also because they're super talented. You know, they're here because they're good enough. And having watching Ashley Lawrence come on in the second half, my goodness, so brilliant at what she does that. I think they're just going to add so much more to to our to our squad, and like I said, I want uh, an environment where it's not too homogenised. I think it's healthy to have it in a working environment, and I certainly encourage others to do it. Um, just follow up on the Charles as well. Yeah. Where is her best position? There, for me, that's her best position. I think she can do it on the right. 
but she, I think she's been playing on that left-hand side for the most part. She's got the energy up and down. I mean, the cross to Mia. Uh, she never stopped the whole game, but she's, I think, all of her game. She's got all the qualities to succeed. I think she has to keep working on improving her decision-making in possession, but I, I can see she's been doing that over a period of time. And I thought today she was our best player. Um, in my opinion, and but but I understand Mia will get it for the goal and it being a debut. But I think Neve looks really good on that side of the pitch. Erin will be fit for next weekend too. Um, if I didn't have such a large squad, she'd have probably made the squad today. But I felt it was fair that she'd had a a little bit of a calf issue a few weeks ago and because she hasn't trained as much as everybody else I didn't feel it was fair to leave anybody else out that had been training and playing with the team and that's the luxury I have and everyone understands that and she really really wants to get a good training week under her belt in preparation for Man City Gentlemen at the back um, Just going back to me, first of all when she scored everyone on the bench all seemed to be looking for someone in Spanish. With that. And, and just also, Jenny, you've had a lot of different forwards over, over the years. What is she providing, maybe, that maybe you haven't had before, or what that's different to the other ones? Well, I was looking for Paul Green because he called it. He said she's going to get a headed goal today. And then we were discussing in the dressing room amongst coaches how we don't think there's many front post spaces to attack in our league. And I said she has to work on getting into the back post spaces and she scored right in the middle. So we were laughing at that and he he felt it. He knew that that was coming. She scored a really good goal in her pre-season friendly. Um, her hold-up play is really, really good. She can link on one and two touches in a, in a way that I think brings others in. You could see that natural relationship between her and LJ. Um, and I think she's just going to keep growing in confidence. Different type of player to Sam they've got some similar attributes um, I think she could learn a lot from Sam about movement in the box um, and I think Sam will develop from her about the link up she can, that she does really really well in deeper spaces but she's so coachable she really is a malleable like whatever instruction we're giving her she's just picking it up right away I think she's um very thoughtful about what she, her intentions. She really, really wanted to come to Chelsea and she knew the squad. She was like, I want to be there, I want to be training with the best players and I want to learn from the best. And she almost accepts that she has to go through a certain phase in training intensity, which I think has been a challenge for her. But I think the hard work she's put in over the last six weeks has really paid dividends today. Got quite a few North American players now. Is that a coincidence? Or is there a quality that they provide that you like? Uh, yeah, I think just the quality uh, they provide. I love Kat Macaria, what a great player. Um, but she's not, you know, we want to we want to get it right with her. So it's going to take a little bit longer. Um, and I can't say when because you never know, like, could it, would it be weeks, maybe? But I, I suspect that not playing football for 14, 15 months, it will be longer because you've got to build a training base so you keep her back on the grass. But we've got a, we've got a great squad. And I think in Ashley Lawrence, we've got a press-resistant player that can play right and left. I think she showed that in the second half. She come on, bought qualities. And same with Jesse Fleming, who gives us qualities to stretch us out. So, no, they're just they're really good people. I think I look at that first. Always. I don't know why because no one wants to work with our souls. On that bombshell, does anyone else want to ask any other questions or should we leave it there? All right, lovely, thanks very thanks. much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.